Alright, what's up people? This is Sifurian, and right now we're going to be getting into a brand new episode of Banshee. We're on episode 6 of series 3, and my god, man, like, I've, I've just finished watching episode 5. <sighs> man, last time, basically Clayton had attacked the uh, precinct looking for uh, Proctor, and then there was also uh, the uh, deputy that, that killed his brother. Things went down, and um, Siobhan had... Basically, in a way, kind of forgave Hood. Like, well, not really forgave him, but that they started talking and he told her his real name, what we never got a chance to fucking hear. Um, <laughs> damn this show. Yeah, and it just kind of seemed like things were starting to... Things were starting to be on the mend, you know, between them two. And it's like I said, like, they'll talk and, you know, give it time and everything, but um, she ended up dying, got... A, Man, I'm still really shocked that, that Siobhan is dead now, like... And also Proctor, like Proctor, finally got out of there, went back home, but he was too late. His mom has now died. So I guess this episode we're going to be dealing with the after effects of that. You've got Proctor's uh, mother's funeral, and then I guess they're going to have a funeral for uh, Siobhan, maybe. Um... Like, with both of them, like, like, have, like, two funerals kind of mirroring each other or something. Or it could just focus on Hood just going for revenge on Chayden. Like, I don't know, man. Um, yeah, we're going to get into this. Episode 6, Series 3. <sighs> Let's do this, man. The moment you came into this town, man, <laughs> there's been shit. Your boss know you're here? Don't you worry about him. You know the drill. Look at this guy. I mean, technically, Hood didn't really go out looking for it. It, it came to him, you know? Sheriff's Department, I'll take that gun now. You drop your fucking gun. Watch you all put your fucking guns down. See what we have here is a lose-lose situation. There's still options on the table. I think you boys could be smart. Take a wad of cash. This is like a what-if type of situation. Or you can be stupid. Try and shoot it out with the sheriff here. Best case scenario, one of you boys is dead. Think about that. Seems like a no-brainer to me. Take the money, assholes. We'll take the cash and the bourbon. Hmm. Sheriff. <laughs> that deserves another round on me. Sorry about your cash. Don't mention it. Thanks for saving my ass. No problem. <sighs> you seem to be in an awful hurry. Are we gonna have like an a, a episode like this, kind of like what if things was different? What if he just handled things like different situations a bit differently and that would be kind of cool. Couldn't get out of the car, huh? I don't blame you. I know everything is so messed up, but uh, this town needs a sheriff, Hood. You hear me, Hood? And what I need is for the two of us to go find that fucker and make him pay for what he did to her. Yeah. <sighs> See, I hope Brock doesn't die, because when it's all said and done, like when the show finishes, I I want to see Hood like hand over the badge to Brock, and then Hood just goes, just disappears. Just, but I wonder if if they'll do that throughout the whole episode, like go back to like a black and white, like what if type of situation, bring back like certain actors who have left the show from like series one, and like bring them back in or something like. That would be really cool. A time for every event under heaven. A 
time to be born, a time to die. Wow. How are you? Kai and Leia didn't speak for 20 years. We don't want that. Oh? Come home. We forgive you. I don't forgive you. Yeah. And I never will. I was just thinking that the way she just looked at him was like, I don't forgive you. Plus, like I said, like the um, last episode, she's got this kind of like glazed over look sometimes. Would you really just have walked away? If that's what you want. What if it isn't? Then we leave together. She's the only one who could really get close to him now, and it kind of help him. Your mother was a tough and honest woman. She saw the good in you. So do I. Yeah. I kind of knew this was going to happen, eh? I can't help but think now about what's Rebecca going to be like. There's, there's been this weird kind of chemistry between her and Proctor. Even though they're family and everything, it's... And nothing's ever been said, it's... You know what I mean? It's always been a bit weird. Is is Rebecca going to be jealous? Or maybe Job's the one to actually talk to him and get his head straight. What do you need? Hey, here we go. Sheriff, I know this guy killed one of your own. And I am sympathetic to that. That's why you're being invited along. But make no mistake, this matter falls under federal jurisdiction. So please, do us all a favor and stay out of the way. That's not, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Somebody get this shit out of here. We open up in two hours, come on. Put some polish on those poles, I want them to shine. She can polish my pole. <laughs> <laughs> There are two cases of vodka out back. Bring them to the bar. And I would, but uh, I don't work for you. I work for Mr. Proctor. You're gonna have to do something to prove a point. No, you don't work for anybody. Pack your shit and go. Suck my dick. Please escort this man off the property. He's trespassing. You're gonna escort me now. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> You're out of your league, cunt. What did I say? She's gonna have to do something to prove a point to everyone else type of shit. <laughs> I thought she was gonna cut him or something, have like a knife on her or something. Mr. Proctor will start selling to Fraser again, but our prices have gone up, not down, in light of recent events. A 10% increase. And as for the Salvadorans, tell your boss that Kai Proctor sells to whoever he wants. Does she have, like, authority to make choices like that? And, or is she just starting to have a bit of a power trip now? I miss what we have. And I know you miss it, too. Am I wrong? No. Then meet me at the motel tonight. I'm flattered. But when I said we were through, I meant it. Believe me, I get it. The usual? Not today. No, I just I lost my appetite. Thanks for the coffee. Mm. Uh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Are you OK? <laughs> yeah, just a little embarrassed. That, that was totally my fault. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm a total spaz. No, no, you're, you're okay.
What, she pickpocketed it? What? It's not every day that I meet a beautiful girl with mad pickpocket skills. So, just kind of wondering what else you're good at. I bet you are. Charlie. Charlie Knowles. You say that like I should know who you are. No, but I'd like you to. You're crazy. Yeah. Does that mean you're coming? Hmm. Don't know if I trust them. <laughs> Are you here? I don't want to talk about it. I miss what we have. And I know you miss it too. Am I wrong? <laughs> I'm fucking believable. <laughs> oh, I love Joe, man. Hi, everybody. This is Dava. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, don't really trust it. But at the same time, they're just kids hanging out, drinking, smoking. I've been to parties and hang, like, hung out at places like that. Like, it's no biggie, really. But it's just where it could lead, you know what I mean? And I don't trust this new kid. He, he, he might take advantage of her or something. And They were buying from our competition and you want to reward that with a discount? They're the customer. I want to earn their business back. Small concession towards a bigger future. But that's not what we agreed about. I already agreed to Fraser's terms. Uncle, can there be a fair note? Is that understood, Rebecca? Yes. Good. Now, I called you in because I'm sure you'd like to apologize to Mr. Lennox and his associates for the wow. misunderstanding. I apologize for the misunderstanding. It won't happen again. Good. Thank you, Rebecca. You can go now. There she was, straight through the club like she was like little Miss Madam with all the power, but... Ah! Okay. I think long term, I think she's gonna get worse, man. <laughs> and let me be clear, I'm trusting that taking out this chatin' motherfucker will get you focused on the real work at hand. <laughs> I had a feeling Job was gonna help him at some point. And no idea that the FBI was gonna fucking turn up or swat it up. Just kill him, he's gonna have to make him suffer or something. Fuck it out. Come on! Move in! He didn't even fucking flinch, man. The rest of the guys all dropped. <laughs> fucking hell, man. He's still fucking moving even though he has a fucking knife in his fucking thigh. I'm not gonna let them put me in another cage, Amy. He murdered a cop. It's not murder. It's war. I knew her, Chayden. She didn't deserve to die. She chose her fate when she put on that uniform. Stop! You're not gonna shoot me. I will if I have to. No. You won't. Fuck's sake, come on. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't want to fucking die, does he? I said, where the fuck is he? You don't 
don't want to do that, sir. I'll have your badge for this fucker. Get the fucking line. Fucking hell. It's funny because I, I have been thinking like, oh, the FBI signed up. If, if shit goes belly up now, it could put like HUD in jeopardy of people finding out who he is or something like. I think he might be trouble, but kids will be kids. It's too early for a drink. Well, it depends on who you ask. It's cool how Sugar went to his mom's funeral. No dialogue, just he's, he was just there. Thank you for coming to the funeral. If someone shows you respect in life, the least you can do is return the favor when they go on. I'm sorry for your loss. You know, men like me, we're no strangers to death. Maybe because of that, when it hits close to home, we feel responsible. Or maybe you are responsible. You okay? I'm tired. To bed. There may be trouble ahead. <laughs> Tell me, are you chasing something or are you being chased? I can usually tell. A little bit of both. Well, either way. I hope it works out for you. Thanks. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> hey, yourself. Well, if that had actually happened, then there would be no show. <laughs> I've just this second thought, right? There's the end credit shit, right? I completely forgot about it. Hold on. Yeah, of course. Fuck you know. Yeah, the whole flashback things back to that that first episode I thought was actually really cool. The show like the what if. Because really it, it all came down to that one one specific moment. That one little moment. You know, and then Hud went to see Kerry. You, you keep calling him Hud and that's not really his name. But like he went to see Kerry and saw how happy she was as a family. He got to see his daughter and and everything and then he split and he was waiting for Job to come and pick him up. Oh, man. Yeah, I think... I think Rebecca... Like I said, I think she's getting a bit more and more crazy. I've, I I think I've been saying that for like a while now that I think Rebecca's getting a little bit more loopy as as, as time goes by. Cause like there's, there's times she just looks like she's... she just got like that blank look on her face. You know, just like um, Burton, is it? Just like him, he's got that... Like, just cold type of look. 
I think Rebecca will be really dangerous going into the future because she got like a little taste of power and then Proctor kind of took it away from her. I could see her probably chasing that power. Maybe turning on Proctor at some point. Maybe. Especially now that she knows that Proctor and Brock's ex-wife have been, you know, sleeping together. So, of course, Clayton's going to come back for, like, revenge at some point. Plus, the whole, like, main point of the season was the, the robbery against the army, right? And we saw it earlier where Kerry was talking to the guy, took his fingerprints. They're getting closer and closer and closer to, like, the reason why Job and that are still in Banshee. You know, it was the job, the one last big job. Yeah, I'm going to have to wrap this up because, like I said, I've, I've been binge watching and, and I'm coming to the end of a very long day. In case you haven't noticed, like the last few episodes, I haven't really moved my arm that much because I've, I've hurt my shoulder and it's... Um, <laughs> and the painkillers I've took are starting to wear off. So um, I think I'm going to have to wrap this up and, and probably go and get some food because I'm feeling hungry again. But yeah, if you want to watch the next two episodes, episodes seven and eight, they're up on my Patreon right now. The full lengths and the early access reactions. So they're down there. Links down below. But for now, give this video a thumb up if you like it. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And subscribe if you haven't already, man. All right? I've been Sifurian. And I'll catch you in the next one, man. <laughs>